Good day everyone. I am here to present to you the study on the analysis on the impact of Project I Read in the academic performance of grade 5 pupils in English from school year 2016-2019 in Kaipitinga Elementary School. The following are the authors. Josefa Vigat Dula, Teacher 3, Ophelia Arotairo, Master Teacher 2, and Shirley U. Aure, Doctor of Education and Principal 2. Project I Read was given birth at Kaipitinga Elementary School in June 2016 as conceptualized under the Continuous Improvement Program or CIP under the banner program of Project Sparks and in light with the Department of Education Deputy Order No. 14 Series 2012. The research questions. What is the reading level of the grade 5 pupils in the field area pretest at present after they have been under the implementation of Project I Read? Number 2. What were the intervention given to 21 pupils who were below reading level after the field ERI pretest? Question number three. What is the reading level of the 21 grade 5 pupils below grade level after the field ERI post test in the implementation of Project I Read? Question number four. Is there a significant difference between the reading comprehension of the respondents before and after the implementation of Project I Read in school year 2019-2020. The scope and limitations. The study covered the identification of the level of reading readiness among 100 grade 5 pupils to know their reading level after the implementation of Project I Read from school year 2016-2017. 2018 and 2019. The method. The research was conducted at Kaitinga Elementary School in July 2019 using the purpose of sampling technique and as a measure of tool is the Phil Erie oral test criteria. The results and discussions. Reading level of the grade 5 in field area pretest in 2019-2020. Table 1 indicates that the frequency and percentage distribution of pupils reading and comprehension in English based on the field area pretest implementation of Project I read in three consecutive school year 2016-2019 finding shows that most number of Pupil respondents have obtained the highest frequency of 33% fall under frustration level, followed by 27% or 27 pupils fall under instructional level. Third is 19% or 20 pupils were independent and 20 pupils whose reading ability were below grade level, which becomes very alarming among the pupils who were under Project I Read implementation in 2016, 2017, and 2018. What were the interventions given to 21 pupils who were below reading level after the Phil Erie pretest? The grade 5 pupils below grade level have undergone the Project I Read program. The following are one on one remediation. Therapeutic approach in phonemic awareness, basic sight words under Project I Read program. Number three, what is the reading level of 21 grade 5 pupils below grade level after the field area post test in the implementation of Project I Read? Table 2 indicates the frequency and percentage distribution of pupils' reading and comprehension in English based on the field area post test implementation of Project I Read in three consecutive school years to present. Finding shows that most number of pupil respondents have obtained the highest frequency of 55. Pupils fall under the independent level, followed by 30% or 30 pupils fall under instructional level. Third is 
of percent or 11 pupils were frustration and 4 pupils are below grade level. The study reveals that there were still 4 pupils whose reading were below grade level where they were given much therapeutic intervention in basic sight words, phonemic awareness, TVC word recognition, and decoding. For number four, is there a significant difference between the reading comprehension of pupil respondents before and after the implementation of Project IREAD in school year 2019-2020? Table 4 shows the significant difference before and after the implementation of Project IREAD using the paired simple t-test at 0.05 level of significance, a value of 5% indicating that the p-value obtained is exactly at the level of significance, 0 0.05 indicating that there is a significant difference, hence the decision is to reject null hypothesis. For the conclusions and discussions, based on the comments gathered, respondents suggest a longer time in conducting these activities so as to have more opportunities for reflective writing, sharing of experiences using the English language, and they further commented on the use of more lively meaningful, simple, casual, practical, and realistic activities in order to maximize the formative aspects of project I read. The respondents in general least preferred the 1230 reading habit, which they would prefer to use as relaxation time. From 21 pupils below grade level to 4 pupils below grade level project I read therapeutic approach given them will be followed up until their next school year. It is the primary target before they graduate in grade 6. They will be reading on their grade level. No more struggling readers in school year 2020-2021. Lastly, Project I read under Project Sparks of the CID7 PPAs is considered as an effective program with the Department of Education Order Number 14, Series 2012. Remediation for the less able children, reinforcement for the able children, and enrichment for the more able children to ensure that the, ch that the children are able to meet the standards set and competencies expected of them. Since results show that there is a significant difference in the effectiveness of Project I Read, when respondents were given proper remediation program according to their grade level. This is also in significance and in collaboration with the depth and so long edukalidad in 2019 as given by our depth and secretary, Ma'am. Liling Briones. So this is the end of our Project IRID presentation. Thank you and to God be the glory. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Maraming salamat po.